are back, kids, with another episode of Right Answers Mostly, the podcast on what you didn't learn in history class but really wanted to. My name is Tess Palomo. My name is Claire Donald. And we are back with a very special guest, Quinn92, also our friend Mike. That's right. And he is back, you guys. This is your second time hosting. Yes, yes. I, I was saying before we started, I'm much more comfortable today, by the way. We're so excited. I was here at uh, Rammies, if you're familiar with me. I hosted the... Enron episode. Part one and two. Part one and two, because I was talking too much. We had to break it up into no, two no, episodes. No, no, no. no we're, we're, also dr- we're all drinking. <laughs> we're all drinking, yeah. <laughs> um, it's funny, in hindsight, I was like, why did I pick Enron? I just, I, I, I don't know. It was, it I, was juicy, but... I feel like it was for the bros, because every yeah. male that has, like, all four of them that have li- listened to this show has always been like, I listen to my four guys. Yeah, all four guys of yeah, our listeners. They're like, went directly to Enron, bro. Yeah. <laughs> That's where it started. That's right, where it good. ended. We needed you, Mike. Shout out Derek, David, Eric. And John. Wow. And, and John, yeah, yeah. yeah. Those was are all that four. Um, two, two years ago, were you? Crazy. Crazy. Oh, my gosh, yeah. yeah. That is nuts. We were all just still figuring it out. You know, Claire and I were like yeah. little babies being like, how do we even like interview someone? How no do we have someone else on? So yes. we're so happy Now we're in this back. palace. I know and... this palace. <laughs> Our Spotify palace. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, guys, thanks for having me again. Oh, my God, We're so psyched to be here. We are, too. Um, it's a nice break to get out of dad responsibilities I know, also. I you're a dad. That's like so, the biggest update since yes. you've been on live. Say, it's like, exciting. How have things changed since the Enron episode? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I am a father. I'm like, a father. Can't yeah. think of much. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, no, this is a nice little break. Macy, my wife, says hi. Oh, um, she was also like, so I don't, yeah, I guess I'll just hop right into it. Yeah. Um, today we're going to be learning guys about conspiracy theories. Conspiracy theories you've never heard of. I, so at least I excited. hope you've not heard of because, yeah. We'll see. I like and the title. We'll also, because I, just <laughs> because like, the because title. I like the title. <laughs> we're keeping it. We need the clickbait. It's we true. It. Yeah. But we're also covering Kate Middleton, so everyone get excited and Plus stay Kate for Middleton. that. Yes, yeah, stick around for that crazy. Yeah. Yeah. It's funny. Is that even. You you think like conspiracy theories need to be a certain amount of years old to like be called? This is like weeks old. This whole Kate Middleton Middleton thing. We're it's more watching like gossip, I guess. Yes, oh. yeah. it's my entire TikTok algorithm right yeah. now. I stayed yeah. up till midnight last night watching. I was like, I'm tired. You Why guys will probably this? have to fill me in. Also, like you I'll will. tell you what I've learned, but I'm sure your algorithm is different than mine. Yeah. So <laughs> I'm sure maybe it it's not actually. <laughs> 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 maybe it's not. Oh, we'll fill you in, Mike. Yeah, we'll yeah. fill you in. Yeah, it's so funny though because I was gonna say when I was doing this uh, at my house, Macy was. Like, you know, I read an article that people that like conspiracy theories, their IQs are normally lower than normal. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, well, yep. Okay, like, thanks, silence. babe. Look, we all need to like stay. It's, it's gossip. It's like, yeah. you know, it's remember when the submersible thing was happening? Uh, Were you following that? Yeah, of course. Of course. Yeah. Titanic. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, that's right. Yes. If you guys don't remember, Tess and Mike share a deep love for Titanic. Yes. As, yes. As deep as the ocean. Which, by the way, know. I found a few really good ones on Titanic conspiracy mm. theories, which I don't know. I mean, we can maybe touch on them later, but oh, yeah. I, I didn't want to necessarily go into it because I know you guys already did that episode. Because I feel like we maybe glossed over we it glossed. in the episode, but yeah. like I don't think I didn't have Have you heard about like how capacity. like the ship was changed for insurance purposes? Yes. yes. So like the one at the bottom is not the Titanic? Yes, because it's uh, the fire fra- or yeah. the fire. Uh, the It had something to do with the owner like – I don't know. Explain this. Maybe like we're already money? getting off track. But yeah. <laughs> we, we will end up talking about Titanic for like six hours. Hour. I read the headline and I was like, that, sound, that sounds oh, juicy. Inter- I mean, we're yeah. always – whatever you want to talk about, Mike. Yeah. Okay. I already have a couple that yeah, I'm really here. pumped on. Okay. Let's put our tinfoil hats on. Yes, and, okay. uh, we should have Yeah, some. we should have. Should, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you guys will have to put in spooky like uh, of course. alien music or something. <laughs> yes. That's right. All right, guys. The first one I have for you, conspiracy theories you've never heard of, starting off with a Disney theory. And there's actually a plethora of Disney theories out there. Uh, a lot of Pixar movie theories that are really mm. fascinating. Oh. How, like, all the Pixar movies are, like, strung together, actually, and they're all, like, one giant story. It's really it's really fascinating. I was going to talk about it, but it would take us truly, like, two hours. And, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, wow. I've never heard of that yeah, before. Yeah, check that out. And and for anyone listening, that is something, like, that you'll, if you like conspiracy theories, it's, like, a nice, playful, like, thing. But Do it's, your homework. Not it's dark fascinating. and yeah. heartbreaking like most of them are. Yeah, this <laughs> one's, this one is, like, it's, it's more weird than dark, but, okay, it is, uh, was Frozen, everyone's favorite Pixar movie, was it created to hide the truth about Walt Disney? So, what do I mean about that? So, <laughs> If you're familiar, which maybe listeners aren't familiar, Walt Disney, there's a huge urban legend. This is like a theory to debunk a theory. Like, Walt Disney apparently wanted to freeze his body. Were you aware of this? I feel like I've heard about this a before. A little bit, but not familiar. So Walt Disney, yeah, Walt Disney, there's a huge legend that he wanted either like, I guess you can like freeze your body like neck 
are like shoulders up and then if you were to be like defrosted years later you could like still come back to life or something i don't know were you what? watching true detective this season yes i was okay so that just makes me think of i didn't finish it it was like too dark like it the was vibes, very dark the vibes were dark it's actually and, the only true detective i've seen oh my god no one. season one mike yeah. you gotta watch season I know, one i never watched yeah. but mm-hmm. like the whole freezing their bodies how thing is that, that I'm how's yeah. that scientifically possible i don't know I, i'm probably saying something so this ridiculous this isn't right a now. science podcast yeah. Yeah. that's yeah. true yeah. not a science or math podcast no 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 so Basically, though, Walt Disney was, like, known for being interested in cryogenics and wanting to live really, really long. Like, I bet. Uh, kind of, it's kind of weird. I'm just like, um, for what? You yeah. want that Disney money to stay yeah. with him forever. That's true. Yeah. yeah, 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 facts, actually, yeah. So there's a theory that um, to sort of, like, get the, the, na- the words Frozen and Disney out of the tabloids and, like, if you Googled Frozen Disney <laughs> – in order for Disney to kind of like clean up their messy urban legend that's been following them for years, they named a movie Frozen to get rid of those uh, uh, rumors. And it's like we're already laughing because it's ridiculous, but I actually did some research and it's it's quite fascinating. Um, ridiculous, but also like this. These are the things about conspiracy theories. Ridiculous, but so smart. Where you're like, right. well, that would you're make like, sense. Right. Yes. You'll you'll notice a through line with the with the ones that I'll go through today. Like they're. They're all ridiculous, but they're all so plausible. Like yep. they, they they do make sense in a weird, messed yep. up way. You just gotta lean in. You just gotta lean in and yeah, tighten those tinfoil hats, and <laughs> it starts to make sense. <laughs> um, so so uh, yeah, the theory goes that Disney made Frozen in an effort to bury this thought in uh, in an internet driven world where everything is just shared and whatever. Um, like most Disney movies, Frozen is based off an older fairy tale, in this case, The Snow Queen, which came out in 1844 by uh-huh. Hans Christian Andersen. I didn't know that most uh, Disneys are based off of older yeah, fairy tales. Yeah, especially Frozen seems so, like, contemporary. It's, yeah. No kidding. Is Hans Christian Andersen the guy that came up with all the scary, like... T- that name is so familiar, Isn't and it? I didn't do research on him, but I'm pretty sure he's responsible for other things. Yeah. yeah. Who, are the, who are the brothers? The Grimm brothers. Oh, and that's... They did, like, Snow, Snow White. White okay. Did they? Okay, All okay. So, yeah. so, yeah, I don't know if there's an affiliation, but, yeah, Hans Christian Andersen, I'm sure, is, like... I'm pretty sure it's a very famous. I should I should have known this, but no. like no. he's a vibe. We can yeah. already tell he's a vibe. <laughs> um, Disney could have picked, and this is what people are like. They could have picked any name. They could have picked Snow Sisters, Ice Twins, um, like Elsa and Anna from the movie, like something not Frozen. <laughs> like, right. Like it could have been a rip a riff off of the original name. So they're like, why did they pick? Frozen. Mm. Um, so okay, why would Disney go to such extreme lengths to bury such an urban legend? Um, this is what this is what's fascinating. Disney is very has a very intense policy on keeping their family like image. Uh-huh. Um, uh-huh. So, and I don't think people realize the lengths that they go to keep their business like. Um, squeaky clean, I guess you could say. Yeah, there's like a purity to yes, it. Yes, because when you think Disney, you don't think weird guy wanting to be frozen forever. <laughs> yeah, right. <that's> true. <laughs> you try you, not like, to. You try not to. You try not to. It's 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 all like fun, like cartoon characters, and it's like your happiest memories are Disneyland. Yeah. And and, and you know, um, Disney actually has a policy that they tell all of the people that dress up as characters at Disneyland that they by no means can take off their costumes in front of. Uh, most most importantly, children, but any guest at the amusement park, even in the case of drowning. Stop. Yes. Stop it. Because. <laughs> seen Mickey slowly go. Because, and I will give you a specific <laughs> example. Um, in like, I think it was the early 2000s, a guy was hired to play an underwater goofy at Disneyland. Do we need that? Like a swimming goofy or something. Yeah. Oh, God. He, no. um, he was told that he had to sign a waiver that if he drowned, the paramedics would take his body out of the water but would not remove anything of his cost, <laughs> uh, uh, of his, his mask or anything and then would perform CPR. And then, Stop. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Priority. Yeah. But Disney made him sign that. So it's a little, it's a little fucked up that like that would – be yeah. something but I also feel like theater yeah. kids everywhere are like no you have theater to kids. commit <laughs> to the craft yeah. like yeah. it makes sense to me <laughs> method They're actors like, it is worth it <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. For uh, Walt. so it, it's it, it makes you wonder again that's kind of where we're at with this one it, it just makes you wonder like you know while Walt Disney doing this isn't necessarily that like poor of judgment it's not like he killed anybody or whatever it's well, still it's still weird did. though yeah. Yeah. yeah it's still weird and I think Disney everyone is 
I don't know, not everyone, but the internet suspects that maybe the the title of this movie was changed to deliberately sort of like erase the history as much as they could. Well, because now when you Google Frozen Disney, you don't see anything. I did that like five different times. Oh, no. Oh, you don't see anything about Walt Disney being oh, frozen. Oh, so it's like a distraction. Yeah, yeah. So it's a distraction. is he yeah. actually frozen? Where is he? He, Walt Disney is buried, um, I don't, I didn't write this down. He's buried in Los Angeles, uh-huh. but there isn't, there's not like a, it's, is he buried in the, in the park, or was that something? Is that not true? I don't think That's he, so dark. I don't think he is. <laughs> like, I don't need that there. Oh. Someone told me that once, and I was Wait, like, oh. I'm glad you actually asked this test because I forgot to mention there's a rumor that he's buried under the Pirates of the Caribbean ride. Yes, yes <laughs> yeah, I've heard this. Yeah. Which is okay. Now I'm just like, fuck you guys. That's that's <laughs> insane. Yeah. Honestly, though, I yeah. like not the a bad place to be. Caribbean it's comforting right. in there. Yeah. But it's but when you do think about it, it's like what is Disney's target audience? It's children. And so they want to erase all of these potential, even though like adults, we can laugh at this stuff. Like if a kid was to learn that, oh my God, Walt Disney's under this ride right now, they're going to start telling other kids and they want to like, they want to clean up these, even though they're silly rumors, like their whole target demographic is like impressionable minds. Of and course. so, totally. you know, so it's just, it's all so dumb, but it's just fascinating. It is yeah. fun. Well, it's, yeah. I saw some documentary ones called like Disney Monopoly or something about yeah. um, just kind of how like problematic they are in some ways. But also if you look closely at old animated Disney movies, they put like penises and stuff. Yes. Oh yeah, has, I, like, I saw that. The Little Mermaid. The Little Mermaid has like tons of sexual innuendos. Yes, yes. Like, well, yeah, The Little Mermaid isn't like the priest supposed to have like a boner or something on oh, the yes. boat scene really? when he's like jumping around. <laughs> Just like a bunch of like old white dudes in the studio, just like huh? making someone like get a boner. <laughs> yeah, but truly, like, guys, I, I mean, haven't like, said the word boner in a while. I know. I, Welcome. I, yeah. it's not, I was gonna it's say like terrible, erection. It's no. a terrible term. Well, I mean, it is when you watch Disney films when you're older. I appreciate yeah. that those jokes that you're like, oh damn, I never it totally went. Over no, but my there head. are like subliminal. I know what you're talking about, Tess. Like, there's like I saw a clip of subliminal messages, like yes. like just penis is drawn like in the sky Total, like and, the clouds are yeah, different things and like a, like one movie has yeah I think it's the clouds outline the word like sex or something yes and um yeah. the Lion King I the Lion so. King I know like yeah. the Lion King of all movies but yeah. like oh, keep that out of it Rob yeah. Crystal's husband directed that one of the Real Housewives Beverly Hills husbands directed that but like directed the Lion King he did and like Stuart Little and like yeah what, wait what's his name Rob, Rob hip hop Rob Rob Minkoff yeah Rob Minkoff oh okay okay you know like the familiar? original yeah I know Rob of course yeah. <laughs> yeah, we play tennis. <laughs> no, no. He would. So I, I actually don't know. So to kind of put everything to rest here, there isn't real proof that he's frozen or not, Walt Disney. Um, but there is just the urban legend. I mean, so he could, he could be. Well, yeah. I have my own conspiracy theory about Frozen. I have you Please, guys seen Pussy share. in the or what's it? Josie and the Pussycat Dolls. <laughs> Pussy and the Pussycat Dolls. Pussy and the Josie Cat Dogs. <laughs> Dogs. Not since I was like a kid. Uh, no, okay, I, no, I, I need to watch well, it again. So, like in that movie, they like <laughs> the whole thing is like that pop stars have this chip in people's brains or whatever, and it makes them become addicted to like listening to the pop music. Yeah. I think oh. that's what they're doing with Frozen. The holds We're, that Elsa has on these kids. She does. I mean, no, she's it's just like, nuts. Also, though, like Let It Go, that song, we've been listening because bath time is now a thing with our in our oh. household, and our playlist is fire. It's like all these great Disney songs. <laughs> oh, my songs. God. That's a, please but share let, with us. Let It Go is so, so good. It is like, so good. I'm not surprised kids love that. It's a masterpiece. Yeah. So, yeah, guys, that's that's essentially the, the, the shit with uh, Walt Disney with and Frozen. Disney. The man is Frozen? Um, do I believe it? I think that's what we should say at the, all oh, the end yes. of these. Do I? believe that uh no i don't it's just it's 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 a convenient like i don't know coincidence to figure out in your mind and like i don't know yeah it's a, it's a nice all of these that's really the nature of conspiracy theories there's a couple i'm like actually very much believers in that mm. maybe we'll touch on in okay. a, I hope we a do. little bit in this episode but um i would say 95 percent of them are just kind of like fun things your brain can chew on mm-hmm. but don't really have much substance to them it gives totally. you an adrenaline rush. Uh, yeah yeah so that's that's what i what i think about this one unless watch next week he's gonna like Pop out of the yeah. Pirates of the Caribbean. He's like, I'm back. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> on Pirates of the Caribbean. You thought I was joking. <laughs> <laughs> he's like toweling himself off because he's all wet. <laughs> Defrosting. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, all right. Okay, so that's that's Walt Disney and Frozen. Um, guys, next one. This is, have you heard of the disappearance of Harold Holt? No. No. Okay. I, I'm glad you said that because, again, this this is supposed to be yeah, conspiracies so you've never heard of. Um. This guy, he's not hes not just some guy. He's a pretty important man, actually. He 
is uh, was I should say in uh, 1966 he was the prime minister of Australia, and approximately at 12:20 p.m. on December 17th, 1967, uh, Harold Holt, then prime minister, disappeared while swimming at Chev Chevlo Beach near the town of Port C in Victoria. Um, which I think is like a province in Australia. I, that could sure. Be yeah. Whatever. We, 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 we don't know. Yeah, you know yeah, we don't yeah, know. Yeah. 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 Uh, <laughs> you, you know we don't know. Um, <laughs> while it's presumed that Holt drowned, the topic is still described as one of the biggest unsolved mysteries in Australian history and has spawned many conspiracy theories. The conspiracy theories have been widely criticized by the public and by members of Holt's family. Some believe, okay, so this is what's interesting. Some believe Holt just committed suicide. This guy just, like, mm-hmm. killed himself. Uh, I don't know what was going on with him, but maybe he was, I don't know, had a lot of pressure from being the prime minister. Being the prime minister, this is going to sound bad, of Australia, I don't think gets any, like, credit or, like, I don't hear about that. I, think I didn't of, know they had one. I think of, Same. I didn't either, actually. I thought it was just the president of Australia. I just, or? like, I thought from... I thought they were all just hanging out in Australia. I mean, they're the same title, prime minister, president, but right. I didn't know what the leader of Australia is. Yeah, title was. in New Zealand, there's a prime minister, right? Yeah, because she's, she's a woman. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. And we actually. love that. We do love we that. We do love yeah. that. Did he go swimming at night? Did you say? Uh, I didn't. I didn't find out if it was night or daytime. Okay. Um, mm. Yeah, I don't know. No, yes, twelve twenty p.m. daytime. Oh, daytime. Oh, okay. So, um, a lot of people think he committed suicide. Committed suicide. Killing yourself in the water is. I don't know how popular of a way to go that is. I think that you just like must, like your body goes into fighting it. Like I feel like if he didn't have anything weighing him down, yeah, you know, then slow way to go. But if you're doing okay, this is like very dark. But if that was your way to go, because I'm just actually now I'm trying to figure this out for ourselves here. Yeah. What would you would you just hold your breath underwater? Like would you like swim out deep and like far enough to drown? Yeah. In Australia, it's summer in December, right? Yeah. So the water. Yes, you're right. Oh. So also like. Wow, Tess. Wow. Do I know everything about Australia? We're cracking this code right now. (laughs) We are. We are. I'm like, what time was it? Yes. What were the currents doing? (laughs) Um, So then, like, because I was gonna say, hypothermia is actually a pretty good way to go on Titanic. You know, like we talked about this, but you kind of just get peace, like sleepy and. Well, I've heard with drowning too, you hit a certain point where your body also goes into like a euphoric stage. Yeah. Really. But I, I. it's all hearsay. I think usually before dying, your body is happy. Like it gives yeah. you that little final but rush. I do think, like again, unless your feet are weighed down, it's just like harder to make yourself drown. Yeah. I, yeah. I don't know. Maybe you do like swim out and tire yourself out or just yeah. like force yourself. It seems like ex- really tough. Like It does. It. Th- I guess I'm just asking because I'm trying to like maybe check that off. Check that off as yeah. like it's not suicide right right because right. that just seems like a lot of work it does it does like okay so some believe holt committed suicide while another theory is that holt was actually a spy for the chinese government under both the nationalist and communist governments ever since he began studying at the university of melbourne in 1929 and this is where things get wacky that he pretended to drown and that once below the surface of the water <laughs> the, uh, i'm yeah Two Chinese frogmen, uh-huh. w- which frogmen are like, I think like, um, uh, n- like you know how like Navy SEALs like will go jump in the water and like just like they're guys who are like trained to hold their breaths very long yeah. and do like water rescues. Crazy. Apparently the theory people believe, and this is like people believe this, that he went underwater while two guys took him into a submarine and then took him away to continue being a spy for the Chinese government. And then he like lived in China and like just lived his lived his life. How like, wow! <laughs> <laughs> the theory yeah. also claims that the Australian Sec- uh, uh, Security Intelligence Organization (ASIO) covered up any evidence. This theory was first promoted in British writer Anthony Gray's 1983 novel *The Prime Minister Was a Spy*, which attracted controversy in Australia. Other conspiracy conspiracy theories claim that Holt was assassinated. Targets of these claims include North Vietnam and the CIA. I don't know uh, why North Vietnam. CIA is always, always CIA involved. and communism are yeah, like they're just always. Like either one of those. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But okay, this is like this, like Australians, this is a, a, like an, like I said, like one of the biggest unsolved mysteries in Australian history. Mm. Think about this though. Like, because they would, never found his body. They never found That's him. That's what I was going to ask. He okay. just disappeared. No one knows if he died. No one knows if he escaped. This would literally be like Biden being like swimming out 
Uh, what time is it? Uh, oh, that would not last long. Yeah, one o'clock. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but this would going be like for a little swim. Biden going out for an afternoon little stro- uh, uh, swim. swim, and and we never well, see him again. It's weird that like you can't do something like that, right? Like it, with his position of right. power, without security. That's also watching what's over weird. You. That's so what's it's weird. like he definitely like did this as like an escape Gape. of some sort. That that's that what I thought of too. How do you? How does the prime minister like? Do that. Just vanish with no one's eyeballs on him. And it's in the ocean? Ocean, yeah. But his body was never found. So someone had to know found. that he was going swimming in the ocean. Mm-hmm. She- oh. she- Cheviot Beach. Let's look this up in my phone because I should have got Interesting. the information. See, the submarine thing, my, my first thought with that is like you can't open a submarine underwater, underwater. to let someone in. Great yes. point. Great point, Tess. Once again, you are I'll- good. <laughs> Is this my passion? Yes. How, how? Yeah. How is that even? How is that possible? Unless there's, no, you can't. Do I just it. looked up Chef Yeah Beach and took me to Ohio. So no, this is not. <laughs> Same, <laughs> this thing. Is not yeah. Same thing. Yeah. I imagine it's the homework. ocean, though. Yeah. Yeah. Um. But wow. but again, this the the Harold Holt thing. There's a plethora of ideas of like what happened to him. But yeah, it was the Prime Minister of Australia randomly disappears. That would be crazy to and happen to your country. Yeah, it would be. That like, would be yeah. wild. And this didn't. Ha- this. Well, yeah, no, it happened a while ago, 1967. I thought it was... Wow. I mean, maybe yeah. the currents were so st- strong that... But you would, like... if By the time he went missing, you'd probably go looking for him. And, like, by that time, I don't know. But, like, where's his body, though? Like, it would have been but washed on... the ocean on is so... Yeah, it, I guess he'd have to... Yeah. But doesn't it usually come <laughs> yeah. back to shore instead of float out? Right? I don't know her well enough. I don't know what she returns <laughs> and what she doesn't. I don't know her currents. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Depends. Just depends on how she's nice on thing. the rag. If she's uh, <laughs> That's <true>. hung over, <laughs> she, she decides. She decides. I feel like so, he yeah. probably just disappeared. Like he yeah. probably got lost in the currents. Yeah. <sighs> I don't know, dude. It's weird. I it's mean, really weird. We haven't even found like not always because the Malaysia flight. Like it didn't. Not everything. And I know that was in the middle of the ocean. That's true. I. Uh, Tons of things on the Malaysia flight popped up when I was Googling. Well, there's, there's new stuff yeah. about it, I think. You said also the guy from Boeing was – someone was mur- – like. What? I don't know about the Boeing stuff. I actually don't know. I should have researched more about it. Yeah. yeah. Um, someone who worked for Boeing who admitted that there was some sketchiness. With, yeah. like, a the whistleblower. Man, the whistleblower was like, yeah, these aren't great. They're kind of old, whatever. Was yeah. found – Dead. No, days, it's not like good. days after. I think. Did you watch the documentary on that? Mm-mm. It was on Netflix. You should watch it. Yeah, it was basically just talking about how Boeing knew those planes were not like sturdy, and still let them operate. Yeah, sketchy. It's so so sketchy. bad. I'm just, like, scared yeah. a little bit to yeah. fly right now. Yeah. But, yeah. I mean, I'm always a little scared to fly. But yeah. Just like, well, I was about to be like, avoid Boeing planes, but they're everywhere. I know, but a lot of people are right now. Yeah. So there's just back them. to back of just like Boeing. You know, like. Crazy shit's going on. Things aren't working. You're not gonna like show up to the airport though and be like, "Oh, it's a Boeing. I gotta, I gotta change my <laughs> gotta flight." Get out. Yeah, I just yeah. texted my brother, being like, "He's going to Japan for a month," and I was like, "Are you going on a Boeing?" Yeah, really. Um, and I think he said maybe one. Oh God. I but mean, they're everywhere. Like, I think it's fine. And yeah. I was like, yeah, I guess you can't really like. Yeah. What can you do? You gotta go. My, gotta go to work. M- my brother in law is a pilot for Delta, oh, and then my oh. his dad is a is a private pilot for this medical company, and um. Yeah, they were very fascinated with the whole thing, and like I should ask them though more about this because do they think they're sketchy? He, my father-in-law was definitely like, it's 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 not a good look that <laughs> that they lost two planes. Like like it's pretty un, it's not pretty, so unheard of. Yeah, it's not great. For, a plane crash is just so unheard of. Totally, yeah. for two to happen for the same like manufacturer is just not a good. Look. That's so. True. Do we know yeah. if it was a Boeing plane that one that the door just flew off? It was it right. Was? That's what started. Was the- it the window or the door? Because I've been seeing doors exploding on flights. Have uh, you guys seen these? No, no, I can't do it. That's also what I want to say. Like we don't know any of like it's this topic is. I was like, I shouldn't speak so confidently on some of this stuff because. It's all hearsay. Well, you know, like, you're at the right place for yeah, that. Like, exactly. Yeah. People know what they're going to do. We actually do yeah. have a lot of Austral- uh, Australian listeners, so I'll be curious to... Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah guys, all let right. us know what, what you think about this. Yeah, yeah. please do. The, the Harold Holt thing. Let us know if this is all just bullshit or if it's there's some <laughs> there's something to, to it. it. Yeah. R.I.P. Um, I do want to touch on some other ones just kind of like casually, but I'm looking at the Kate Middleton section of my notes, and it's pretty big. Yeah, so we're ready. For I say it. we hop into this. We are. Sh- um, we are ready. So I don't know. Yeah, I, I I told Tess and Claire this before we started. You guys are gonna have to kind of like inform me more on this. But yeah, there's a lot going on right now with Kate Middleton. It's, with the royal family in general. Yeah, Macy was like, you could just do a whole episode on like royal family conspiracies. Totally, that'd be a good um, one. Yeah. Um, 
I kind of I kind of was like, no, I just want to flip flop a little more. But yeah. Uh, but yeah, let's get into this Kate Middleton stuff. So um, I have I was on Vogue dot com, which is the first time I've we ever did seen. the same thing. OK, Vogue. We were just reading that article this morning. That you were? One. Yes. yes. So okay. we're all the on the same timeline. Yes. Mm-hmm. Perfect. But there is a mic. TikTok Perfect. that had uh, that I added a few more little things okay. because it didn't have it on the Vogue. So okay. I will be. Add yeah, I'll be cool. following. Cool. Your cool. Lead. All right. Great. We're kind of all. I know. I love this. You're taking my topic, which is great because I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> yeah. Well, Tess, I think actually is the most knowledgeable on this. I'm like very new to this. Yeah. Conspiracy. I just have a lot of like feelings. I think more. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So. That's but good. it also like and it's gonna get me wanting to ask about like Princess Diana and like oh. you just bring it's gonna all you came to the right place. Yeah. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. okay. So Kate Middleton walked to church on Christmas Day when she was photographed. Um, it was what for the last. Like what? How long has it been? Like not oh, months since she's been since. Yes. So let me. Yeah. So she's photographed on Christmas Day. Um, what they didn't know is okay. This is just them saying it could it predict the last normal moment the princess would have in the spotlight for the foreseeable future, which wasn't that long ago. Um, she announced a planned abdominal surgery. So in the mid January, ding, TikTok ding, ding ding right before the TikTok had this that so December twenty fifth was the last time she was seen. December 28th, ambulance and police escorts rushed out of where the royal family was spending Christmas, but there was no statement from the royals about what that was. Also, don't you not have Wait, a- what date was that? December 28th, 2023. That's weird. Don't you not have a plan? I didn't find surgery? that in the Vogue article. No, it wasn't in the Vogue oh, article, but it was Vogue in the TikTok. Vogue doesn't want to talk about it. Yeah. <laughs> Vogue is also hiding Vogue, something. Vogue, what are you hiding? <laughs> you have 24-hour <laughs> surgery. When you have an Vogue. abdominal surgery, isn't that a last-minute thing that usually, like, it comes on very suddenly? So it's actually interesting that this whole abdominal thing is happening. Um, there's a person in my life that is about to get an abdo- abdominal surgery from because her abs – disconnected during like being pregnant and childbirth and it's like something that like women have to deal with a lot and it's like extreme back problems so you can have a surgery to basically like reconstruct your abs i was reading it as like a tummy tuck or something i wasn't reading it like I was more like, oh, Kate Middleton just wants like a slimmer look. Oh, God, like, she, how could she I, even I hope get she there? Does not. No, right, right. Wait, I was thinking appendicitis this whole time. Just I mean, kidding. it could be appendicitis all those is quick. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. Okay. But Isn't appendicitis like an ulcer essentially? Yeah, it's like you're literally fine one second, the next second you're like yeah. in the yeah. pain of your life. The, yeah. the, that's the only thing like um, I just heard about this surgery. So maybe that's what okay. she was doing. I mean, but it's also I don't know. The okay. t- the so December twenty eighth thing though is that's really weird. fishy. I didn't I didn't know that. I mean, and that's from that TikTok source, so who knows how accurate that so is. So just to con- just to clarify, Claire, yes. clarify Claire. Mm-hmm. Um, ambulances were seen leaving Buckingham Palace. Not Buckingham Palace. It's like it starts with an S, and that's where they were spending Christmas. Oh, Sandringham or yes. whatever. Oh. Yeah, 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 and that's where yeah. they were leaving. Okay, got it. Uh-huh. That's that's fucking. Sketchy. Now there's some things missing. We don't know if Kate was there. We don't know who was there. Yeah, mm-hmm. we just know that ambulance and police cars Arrived. were leaving. Uh huh. Okay, okay, that's. Okay, wow. Now I'm starting to rethink things slightly. I know. Um, yeah, so I'm starting with this, like, the bulletins that Vogue gave, yes. <laughs> gave me. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> I never thought it. I'd say those. <laughs> yep. <laughs> say that in my entire life. <laughs> Christmas Day, yeah, pr- Christmas Day, the prince, Princess of Wales, uh, Kate Middleton, attended the royal family's annual church service at Sandringham. Um, everything seemed picture perfect as she mm-hmm. held hands with her children while wearing a cobalt blue Alexander McQueen coat dress. Well, it is Vogue what, after all. Yeah, she yeah, does yeah, have yeah, a great style. Yeah, yeah, she does. Say. Yeah, She's a gorgeous yeah, woman. Yeah. yeah. Little did the world know it would be the last time they saw the princess for many months. January 17th. Well, let me just throw in now. December 28th. Three mm-hmm. days later, apparently, according to Claire, a <laughs> ambulance leaves Sandringham three days later. That's right. Super sketchy. Mm-hmm. January 17th, so that's a couple weeks after, um, Kensington Palace released a statement that the Princess of Wales w- was admitted to the hospital for an abdominal surgery on January 16th. So that's the first time the public knew about her having this surgery, mm-hmm. I guess. Uh, due to medical advice, she would not return to the public duties until Easter. So Easter is in like March or April, right? Easter's, Usually. Easter's coming up. So April, also, right? I will or say... No. Easter's next... Like two weeks from now? Is it really? Oh, you could tell us that Easter is at any point. <laughs> well, we yeah. believe you. That's yeah. true. But That's true. I will say that um, this abdominal surgery of the person that I know, it's a two to three week recovery. Oh, oh no, damn. actually four weeks. Oh, so, gee, I mean, I guess that is like So a, it is accurate to what they're saying. Well, it's four weeks that this person like can't pick up her kids. So I think she can be around. But yeah, you probably shouldn't be like out and about. Walking around. But if it's January, that's actually longer than four weeks Easter is. Yeah, that's like. 
It's like two months. Mm-hmm. Two months. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hmm. That's bizarre. Okay. Oddly enough, that same day, Buckingham Palace announced that King Charles yeah. is seeking treatment for an enlarged prostate. Um, they didn't give the official, like, weren't they kind of just like, he has something wrong? They weren't like, mm-hmm. he has cancer. Not like, yet. There was, like, no details or anything. Yeah, exactly. But the difference between the two households' statements, so, like, uh, Kensington Palace announces Kate Middleton's, Buckingham Palace announces King, Char- or, uh, King Charles, um... King Charles' announcement was, like, much more specific. specific. Yes. Yeah, it was, like, not as vague. Uh, all the information was provided. The public didn't really have, like, any questions after that. And at the same time, is weird. But yeah. I also just think But, it's like, crazy. same day, it's weird. That's yeah. what I think is crazy. Also, it could just be ironic, but it's just strange. But also, like, you Mm-mm. think you'd wait maybe a day out? Or, There's I don't know. There's nothing coincidental about the royals. Yeah. Yeah. That's <laughs> Spider Man. Right Do you now. think of that? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> January 29th. Yeah. So this is what's the math? Twelve Ooh. days later, or do you have to? Is, did something happen before that? Uh, no, something happened in the middle of this. So during her two week hospital, I guess she was in the hospital for two weeks. There were no reported visits from her parents, siblings, or children. No one okay. came to visit no her. I'm so glad yeah. you're including these these uh, these TikToks. Yeah. yeah. TikTok knows. That's our sources. Um. Yeah. No one came to see her. And then on January 28th, 2024, the day after the surgery, William visits. But that's the only time that she's in the hospital. Can you imagine Why Macy is... being in the hospital and you go visit? Yeah. Once? You're just like, yeah. you're good. I'll come. Yep. Why wasn't he there every day? And then also, that's so, yeah. Um, January uh, 24th, UK uh, papers report that the inner circle was shocked to hear about the health crisis. So like the royals inner circle were like, wait, what the fuck? We didn't know that anything was wrong with her, which is also weird. Mm -hmm. And then January 26th, Charles visits Kate, which is also haunting. I'm sure she was like, get out. Yeah, she's like, you're making me feel worse. Yeah, <laughs> literally. Your presence is not yeah. coming. Literally. Yeah. And then the last thing, January 28, 2024, Spanish journalist, which this is like so ridiculous, Jan- or Spanish journalist claims that Kate is in an induced coma. Um, what? And Wait. She- <laughs> this is like so important. <laughs> and like, by the way. Yeah, and then cited her sources as unnamed palace sources. And this is when everyone then I think really got like, invested yeah. in what could it be that if it's not abdominal surgery I mean it is crazy that her parents didn't visit her it's crazy that her, her kids sis, her sister Pippa yeah where no. the hell's Pippa it, yeah it, and also didn't Pippa's um old boyfriend just die yes, or something really? did. yeah that's also crazy um but yeah really hmm. weird that William visited once and that Charles visited but I guess it's like king duties I guess you need to but but wasn't he also uh, dealing with his own health yeah. crisis. Yeah. You said he did visit or did he not? He did visit on oh. January 29th. Oh, okay. Uh, January 26th. Sorry, January 26th. Well, and speaking then... of 29th, that's that's mm-hmm. where I was picking up the print. Uh, Kate returns home from the hospital. So that's the day after what you were just saying, Claire. And then mm-hmm. um, February 5th, King Charles announces he has cancer. Um, a week, that's, a, that's a few days after Kate returns. And there's no photographs of her leaving at this point yeah. yet. There's no, yeah, exactly. Which people, which like, I'm like, that's kind of fair. Right. She but, probably went through a some. Yes. And it's like, God, you're after surgery. Like, do we need to see pictures of her? But some people were like, she had to get surgery for, um, what's her youngest? George. George is the oldest. Then Charlotte. Um, oh, Louis. Louis. Yeah. Louis. I guess she had to get surgery, f- uh, maybe a C-section or something after his birth. I don't know. But she was photographed right after. Well, it's mm-hmm. like royal protocol to always be like after an event, after an mm-hmm. injury, a sick yeah. w- health crisis, you come out, you yeah. go on those steps. It's the same hospital that she was at where she had all her kids, right? Uh, just... And so she always comes out the day after she gives birth. And so like I think people were thinking she would like make an appearance, look all nice and glam and be like, I'm okay to yeah. the people. Sure, sure. And no. That is, yeah. and that's just not like her, and that's not like royals. You kind of have to do that to show your face. And you think you, you think ro- the the royal family would be like, okay, we need a statement immediately yes, and to we need like to show people that you're okay. Yeah, it's weird that the yeah, there's so much silence. The firm, yeah, the yeah. silence. Yeah. So fast forward like three weeks after that, when King Charles announces cancer, but Kate's been home. So Kate's been home like a month when Prince William pulls out of a memorial service for his grandfather yes. or godfather who is the King King Constantine of Greece. And people start to speculate, okay, he's not going to this memorial service. Kate must, there must be something wrong at home. There was also one more thing before February 27th. On February 7th, Prince Harry flew to the UK 
and visited his dad for 45 minutes and then flew back. Mm-hmm. Why 45? What? 45 minutes well, to well, fly from Prince Montecito. Harry? Harry? Prince Harry flew and had a chat with his dad for 45 minutes and then flew back. Do you think he was like saying his goodbyes thinking like he might die? I mean, but for 45 minutes, that's all you're going to give? But he is not happy with Prince Charles. That's true. I mean, he's had a, he, huh. his wife hates Prince Charles. Hmm. I, I guess mean, is he King Charles now? Or King Charles. King Charles, yeah. Uh, they have a very contentious relationship, so maybe he was like, I have to go say Just like, this goodbyes. is all I'm going to do. Keep it, keep it quick. It's crazy. That's just like a weird thing. What, okay, just to just to play devil's advocate, yep. what would he be doing? If it was involving Kate, why would he go for 45 minutes? Who knows? Who knows what's going maybe on they in had the inside? A, maybe they had a secret meetup. Maybe Kate's like, I'm now on your side. Let's <gasps> take them down. Wow. I don't know. Anyway, it's going too far. <laughs> yeah. It's going too far. <laughs> Okay, but um, it is also crazy that he would miss his godfather's funeral yeah. for a personal reason. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, where am I? Uh, he pulls out of the of the memorial service, the 29th Kensin- Kensington Palace. Uh, re- reiterates. Reiterates. It's mm-hmm. original. Oh, you're looking at the same thing as me. Good. Yes. <laughs> reiterates the original statement. Yeah. Um, so basically saying we're very clear from the outset that the Princess of Wales was out until after Easter and Kensington Palace would only be providing updates when something was significant. They told the outlet. They also added the princess was doing well. Yeah. So they were just like, she's fine. Um, we told you all that yeah, she was going to be yeah, right. Home. Yeah. March 4th. So that is 10 days ago. So recent. Paparazzi <sighs> captured the Princess of Wales driving around Windsor. Um, with her mom, I believe. Mm -hmm. Um, The British press refrained from sharing the images due to the princess's privacy. So, this is what... uh, I don't know. Why why would the British press not release those photos if it's the first... You think if you're a journalist, you're like, I have the first thing we've been looking for for weeks of the princess. Oh, they are all also like snakes, Yeah, the British press, they are the nastiest. And the fact that they had this and they were like, we're going to respect their privacy. I will say also, I think the firm works, the firm being the um, royal family without like the it crown, being dr- the crown. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. They work very closely with the British press. Yes, it's they have all a very good relationship. Very strange. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the people that killed Princess Diana, let's Literally. Just say it, are going to be like, you know what, I'm actually not going to release yeah. these photos. Yeah. But is there one? Oh, no, that's later. What? The There's a photo that was released. It's kind of blurry where she looks. It's her, It's not the side, which we'll it's get to. It's straight on. It's straight on that people think is Pippa. That that's they, that's he, this photo. People are like oh, saying it's her sister. That's this photo. Okay. Yes. It, okay, looks okay. Like, okay. it looks like Pippa. Some people are saying it's her like sister. Her. Some people are saying it's like a plant. Some people, yeah. What the fuck? It's not very clear that it's her. And like, it is blurry, but like, even yeah. when I looked at it, I was like, that doesn't look like Kate Middleton. It, d- it looks. I haven't seen the photo. Maybe we need to pull it up. She but, looks yeah. like her face looks more round, mm-hmm. but she also just went through surgery. So, like, of she course, she could have like could inflammation. Be, yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, we huh. can pull this up. It's very, I just think it's very strange that her, um, that the British press didn't release it. Here it is, Mike. Let's see. And then her mom's in the other. And then we haven't even gotten to the next that next photo. I too. mean, I don't know what the next photo. Is. Oh, oh, the one. photoshopped one. It's hard because no. she's wearing glasses. Yeah. but like you're right. It could be this one. Oh, I haven't seen that one. <gasps> that looks more like her to me. But okay, because that's cheekbones. So this other photo came out where she's with. Have you seen this one? No. We're just handing <laughs> all of look on YouTube. Right <laughs> on YouTube, Mike has a thousand phones in his hand. Um, so there's another one with her and William from a couple days later, and so it's the side of her face, and you really can't tell who it is. However, on TikTok, people have done um, some some deep research of finding that that might be a photo of her from the side with her crown on. At this one event that's photoshopped into, like, that maybe Whoa. no one was in the car. They need to cut Whoa. it out with the Photoshop, mm-hmm. which we haven't got to. It looks exactly like someone placed that photo from this event onto this, and it looks exactly like they just. <laughs> this is. <laughs> so, we'll take the phones back. I'm but really yeah. learning about this, like, oh, yeah. in real time, which is nuts. Um, okay, so the paparazzi captures this photo of alleged Kate and her mom. Um,. March 10th. Here we go. So Here this is when shit go. gets juicy. Four days ago, the prince and the princess of Wales share a photo for Mother's Day. To mark Mother's Day in the UK, Prince William and Kate Middleton posted a photograph of the princess along with her three children on social media. The palace said it was taken by William last week in Windsor. Huh. Huh. At first, it, it, was, it was clear um, that like okay, this is going to refute all the conspiracy theories. We've done it. Like, if this is us, if we're the crown, we're like, all right, fuck it. You guys, like, yeah. no more no more speculating. Yeah, I'm good. I'm healthy. We did it. Yeah. 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 
Um, it came out that the photo. So who like h- how uh, essentially this photo was like manipulated. That's what yes. came out. How did people discover that? Because people are so fucking good. You think you can trick the internet? No. You can't trick the girlies. Not the kids. So it, at first it seemed like a clear refute, blah, blah, blah. However, on Sunday night, the Associated Press issued a kill order. Yes, an industry term. Yeah, an industry term for retracting an image. At Being cl- like, this is so crazy. Yeah. Actually, that's be. who that's who figured yeah, it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the Associated Press. At closer inspection, it appears that the source has, this is their quote, it appears that the source has manipulated the image, the AP said in its advisory. Uh, no replacement photo will be sent. Um, so, uh, which that is crazy. Why yeah. not just send so the original? Princess Charlotte's their daughter, uh, young. Is that the oldest or youngest? Daughter? It's the middle. 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 There's only one daughter. Yeah, her left hand did not match up with the sleeve of her sweater. Mm-hmm. I want to see this photo. It's oh, on yeah. our Instagram story okay. right now. Follow us at Right Answers. Mostly, we'll post it again. Kate's zipper was misaligned. And some body parts, including a knee and a hand, Thank were God. awkwardly blurred. Yeah. There um, is some blurrage. It looks like when you're trying to, like, back in, like, middle school, edit something on iPhoto. When you I just would, like, blur out, like, a line. Yes, and then it's everything. a little blurry. I don't quite see Charlotte's sleeve. This is something from People, this photo, that has, I think, Ooh, save that. We'll post 16 it. different areas in which something is not right. Here, Mike, look Okay, at so on first glance, nothing really seems weird about it. <laughs> no, uh, so, if you're just so, looking, you're like, yeah. oh. No, yeah, I I wouldn't get as into that. But this is what got me in because before I was like, whatever, like, I don't know, something's happening with Kate Middleton. And then the Photoshop thing. Well, when people were like, it's Photoshopped, I'm like, I do feel like people say that about so many things. And then the fact that they, and I'm kind of like, this is the next step, come out. <laughs> I just I said both your phones. <laughs> yeah, and journal, yeah. Journalism. Yeah. And say, oh, okay, well, we'll. It doesn't look that, fi- I will say, oh. it doesn't look that fishy. The weirdest part is her hands. I need to see her hands. So, Where are her hands in this photo? Look, so her hands There's seem so a little many bit hands like in this she photo. must be a oh, they're her very hands. long to be able to wrap that around. That is so true. She's not wearing her <laughs> wedding ring. Oh, yeah, where this, where's the Diana ring? Where's the Diana ring? And her hands look a little like masculine. She has Diana's ring. Yeah. She, she has I that blue sapphire. That, that blue sapphire one. Okay. Also, it's just like the fact that they said that Prince William took this photo. I was like, what does he have, like a professional camera or that, something that like that? That man is not taking family photos. No, yeah. he's not. Yeah. Also, in, when was this? Mar- if he took it a week before in March in London, it's looking pretty green on the outside. Mm. The grass is pretty green. The trees are pretty wow, green. Wow, that's such a good point. Someone pull up the forecast in London. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it. I've been passionate about yeah, that yeah, yeah. weather in this episode. It's just like even more haunting that it's a picture of her kids. Okay, so. But I will – okay, now, now – the photo looks not that distorted. Am I, Am I like – No, I also don't things? think so. So that's why I was like, it's not Photoshopped. But then the next day, tell us what happened. Yet the damage had been done. Mm-hmm. Um, well, Kate issues an apology yep. on social media saying, like many amateur photographers, <laughs> I do occasionally experiment with editing. She what? wrote on Twitter – or X. I wanted to express my apologies for any confusion the family photograph – we shared yesterday caused. I hope everyone celebrating had a very happy Mother's Day. That is so okay, weird. That's like someone has a gun to your head. <laughs> yeah. And they're like, say it. Yeah. She's like, I am I think that to me, the retouched. fact that you guys admitted what? it and said, and then was like, I'm dabbling in Photoshop. <laughs> what? But you're not, what? I don't know. What mom is like doing that to their friends? Also, family let's, photo? Let's say that Kate Middleton was like, you know what? I'm back from surgery. I really wanted retouch a photo why wouldn't they then offer the real non-manipulated right. one when asked from but, the whole but also wh- why watching. are you manipulating your hands yes. and your daughter's yes. sleeve that's and, not like, what you're no, photoshopping you're, you're, no. you're doing your face because you're like you're, yeah, you're yes. getting the blemishes you're like oh i'm old and i want to look younger <laughs> we're yes. whitening yeah. teeth yes. Yes. yes you're making your waist yes. look smaller yes. Yes. Yeah. you're not doing anything else like yeah. that to me that's when i was like so oh not... we're in so does, that's bizarre that is bizarre so that's and that's where we've left off essentially I, or, or or am I missing something? Because um, it's been three days since that. There was something that William also posted on his story or something. It was an announcement. Without her included in the announcement. Right. It's like just had like his crest thing on top. Mm-hmm. And it was like supposed to be from both of them. But it didn't have hers. So. Trouble in paradise. We can assume. What are we thinking though? Here's, here's let's let's give our like synopsis. And like, yeah. we asked the Rammies and they yeah. have written in as well. Okay. Yeah. Um, should we go from the most ridiculous to like the most plausible? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Growing out her bangs. She's growing her bangs. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes y- you feel really vulnerable and you just don't want to deal with dun, that. Dun, dun. <laughs> you don't want to do it. Um, she got a BBL. Yeah. Do you know what a BBL is? Yeah. Bazillion okay. Brett- butt lifter. Very good. She discovered The Sims. Yep. 
and she cannot stop playing The Sims. She discovered Housewives, and she's on a binge. And <laughs> that's, that's likely. Yeah. I would say. Yeah. I think so too. She discovered yeah. right Ram. answers mostly. Yeah, that's yeah, right. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and she can't get out. Okay, so now she's the still ones... listening to the Enron podcast yeah. or episode. <laughs> she's like again because it's so long. Again, <laughs> someone said potential organ transplant, which would be. But then why not just like. It, here's the thing that's weird. If Facelift the, recovery. If the royal palace was like, let's make up some health issue, why Ooh. not like do something that would be like six month recovery or like whatever she's trying to save face or like stay away from the public? Then you could just. I mean, I don't maybe know. maybe it truly is just like a woman who is getting a personal body enhancement procedure, and she's like embarrassed, and she doesn't want. I, I don't just know, feel like, like there celebrities do that all the time, all the time, and there's like better ways to go about it and i know it's and like, not in, like hiding no and i know that like celebrities well, and royals are different because you do have to be so public facing and there's so many protocols and stuff but like this is not the first royal that's gotten something done yeah, and is hidden you know yeah. um someone said that also she's a contestant on the mass singer which i like too. <laughs> <laughs> that's a really funny actually <laughs> um but okay so like the real ones what you are like watch that show by the way no i, never I don't have. get the hype on whenever that. i'm at the nail so whenever i'm at I'm the sorry. nail salon they're playing it and i was like what is this show no. Do I... people watch like <laughs> people yeah, but... watch? Really? Oh, think Midwest? about like this yeah, 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 yeah. Those yeah. moms are loving yeah. the Mass Singer. Yeah, they yeah. love. Yeah. yeah. But okay. okay, the real thing, though, I think if I the th- Mass Singer asked me to come on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. By oh my the god! Way. Oh my god! Please, please. Sorry. Sorry. please do. Oh my god! That's gonna Mass be Singer. I love you guys. Mass Singer, here are prayers. Just joking. Call him. I would love to know that a producer from the Mass Singer listens to Rand. I hope so. DM us. Um, but like, I think. She's well, there's a couple things. There's a big rumor that he's impregnated his mistress. Mistress looked, that he has had for quite some time. Have you seen her, Mike? No. She looks just like Kate. Like looks you like gotta realize brand. I know like ten ten percent of this conspiracy. Yeah. Well, so now, like now you know yeah, now I, you're in. Yeah. Yeah, he's Which been having. Which is why I shouldn't have chosen as <laughs> it, my it's topic. A group effort. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, he's been having an affair with this woman for quite some time. That is like public knowledge yeah it's like kind, well kind really? of i mean what's her name i don't know it's it's a it's another princess of something well, she she has to be of high status it's like it's yeah. not just gonna be they, a, they, they have a uh resemblance for sure a similar vibe yeah but then wasn't there one news source that said that actually she's rose hanbury rose yeah wasn't it like that rose kate's gonna be away now for nine months instead of yes there was um something that came hello out. magazine or something, or uk is it was a UK magazine published an article that said, and this was February 5th, 2024, UK magazine published an article that said Kate's recovery would be nine months instead of three months now. So then everyone's like, wait, nine months, pregnancy, someone's knocked up. Yeah. It's either mm. the mistress, and it's definitely not Kate, because we just saw her. Right. Also, William's, and also, why William's would not have in that to... photo, which is a little, mm-hmm. well, it's Mother's Day, I guess, so that could maybe make sense, but. No, but, but it like, is like weird. Couldn't though. they post a photo that the three of four of them had taken like a few months but, ago? But if they're, yeah, you're right though, you because know? it's like if, or like the fact that she was not seen for what a month leading up to that photo, wouldn't you want your whole family in the image? Wouldn't yes. William, William want to yes. be in the picture? And I don't know. Th- they want to be putting her ring on too, yeah. getting, you know? Yeah. Like, just like to the nines. It's just like, offering yeah. so much speculation. Yes. Yeah. I mean, we, we've we had a Rami who also did voice memos in, and she's British, and I was like, God, I could listen all day. That's awesome. And Love she you. was saying, she was like, I think she's realized, like, she heard that Prince Charles had cancer, and it was like a mental break for her that she was like, shit, I'm going to be queen, more, like, faster than I thought. And I also think, like, she's been, I think she's been suffering, like... When you are married into the royals, like we saw it with Diana, like Mm. it's one thing to be born into it and you're trained your whole life. And it's like when you're married into it, it's a whole different world. You know what the normal world was like before. Mm. Also, she Mm -hmm. always had a very good image. Like I think she had a good perception until Meghan and Harry started talking. They talked in his book. They talked in the documentary. They alleged that perhaps Kate is a racist and Mm -hmm. that she is not kind and that she made Megan cry. And so then all of a sudden she's having this like backlash a little bit on her. Yeah. Yeah. And she's not really the favorite. Like uh, compared to Megan, she's definitely not the favorite, right? Uh, I would say in America, but I think that people in the UK like really love her. Like I think she's like the perfect queenie vibe. She's okay. She's pretty I actually didn't know that. Yeah. I I thought people didn't like Kate. I think people like her. It was a resentment. But I I guess if you're from there People liked her in the UK. People hated Megan mm-hmm. and yeah. loved Kate because they were like, she should be British yeah. and not divorced. Yeah, we yeah. also live in America, so we're like, we're fed the the pro Megan totally. Markle people. 
people. Yeah, exactly. Totally. So like, I do think there's some things have been brewing that could result in a mental breakdown. Yeah. Of some sort. Huh. Also, if he is actively cheating on her, like she can't divorce him. It's like just like really not an option. You're like in the prison of even at this day and age, like that's yeah. She still can't no. legally divorce him. And if she, I don't think so. I don't even if she she did, How which would be so like, hard. Think about what happened to Diana. She had more press, more invasive like yeah. I mean, paparazzi. And they won't protect you after that. Like that's what with Harry even like when their son was born, they're like, well, we're not going to give you, because you guys have, like, stepped down. It's still family. Like, that's still Charles's grandson. Mm -hmm. And even though Harry stepped down, he was like, well, we're not going to give you the royal security. And it's like, that's crazy when you think about it because he knows what the press is like and he's like yeah. we're not i'm not that's my grandson but i'm not going to protect you at all and that's what they yep. did to diana yep mm. and you're kind of left with like it's not like they're like kate middleton is saving a bunch of money she has three, like she doesn't really have like income yeah she's not you know what i mean and it's everything that yeah, she yeah. knows everyone that she knows right now would turn their back on her if she oh, left sure. the crown and tell for her sure. dirty secrets and yes say, everything you know, it's just so scary so what do you guys think think like where because i don't really know what i think yeah honestly it's crazy and maybe it's too early to tell maybe tomorrow something comes out <laughs> i know it's all like and, and it's all i'm solved. tempted to think that like she has been somewhere to like get a little bit of like treatment of something you know i like, think um, men mentally mentally yeah. of like or just like a time to like so i think she something i know there's a lot of rumors too that like they got into a domestic i saw that physical you know fight and she's been recovering like i think that kind of stuff is like really clickbaity i don't believe that prince william is probably like the most the greatest person on earth yeah um yeah but i think they've split up i think yeah. she really started like she lost you know yeah. lost her shit it's fucked because um like kind of weirdly similar to the Walt Disney story. Um, like, Disney and The Crown are similar in the sense that they both hold their image so um, intensely. Mm -hmm. And and that image is so important. That that image is is, is them. Like, like, if someone catches wind that Kate Middleton, the one of the faces of this family, is suffering in a way, it puts a dent in their sort of, like, yeah. their, their, like, I don't know what's the word I'm looking for. Like their, uh, bravado, their armor. like yeah, yeah, their armor. Yeah. yeah, they don't look as strong anymore. No, exactly. So even if it is something as just her going to see a therapist or yep. uh, getting a facelift, like these are all modifications that imply weakness. Yes, and exactly. like that's that to their image. That's that's damaging. Yes. Exactly, you know? Mike. And that's why I say like they couldn't get a divorce now because like Megan was a divorcee, and the only reason like she was allowed to marry Harry is because he was like the spare more mm -hmm. of like they would have never let William marry yeah. a divorce. Say. No. like because it is so just like this image and also i think that kate knows like the monarchy is like in the worst place it's ever been like people loved queen elizabeth and people have like never been the biggest fan of charles and i think elizabeth held on so long because she knew like once i'm gone this Shit. castle's crumbling. crumbling and that's exactly what's happening and i think kate's like i have to step into this role now it is just crazy like i'm so curious to hear from our uk rammies and honestly just our european rammies of like how mm. they feel about the crown because mm -hmm. if i knew that my tax money was going to this institution These that's idiots. so outdated yeah. Truly. like for yeah. what yeah. Yeah. and for yeah. people that like you don't really know that much about like you don't really know like what they stand for you don't no, know and like, they're not supposed to really have a stance no, on anything no they don't anything. have a stance on anything that like truly kind of matters yeah. so I'd be like what are you even like yeah. what am I yeah what? their job is I'm, I'm actually watching the crown right now yeah. so their job is like and, so I, I know this <laughs> so I know yeah, this. No, no, not saying that you guys don't know this, but like, so I know what you're saying. Like, yeah, they are told they can't publicly speak. They can't take a side, essentially. Which no. is crazy. So it, you're right. It's like, what What are we doing? Like, like, why yeah. 2024 and we're still paying these people. It's yes. ridiculous. Yeah, um, I think that she's really struggling. I think, I think she's, she's really struggling. struggling. I if that's the case, then, you know, hearts go out to her. But like, yeah, but like, yeah it, it it's more juicy to think it's something, well, something do, a little do, more deep. Do, totally. do we think that his mistress... Is pregnant. is pregnant. Uh, I'm like, what a fool. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. All, yeah, like they would probably like real. Also, I'm like, wouldn't they secretly? I feel like they would take, they would handle they that would in secret. They would handle, handle that. that. Handle that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Toss that baby aside. And like, think about the amount of like. I mean, of like public figures that have that happen constantly. Yeah, yeah they are... You don't think they could figure something out? And yes. it's like you guys couldn't keep that hush hush. But yeah. again, maybe she did. Maybe she found out and they were handling it and then she had a mental break. But yeah. Or maybe William is in love with this woman and he's yeah, I like, think... I don't want this to go away. Like, I'm. this is going to oh, be my child. Damn. 
Mom. Jesus. And they're they're slowly a bastard. A bastard. Wow. Prince William's probably very pro life. Like open relationship. <laughs> He's probably like, well, this is my child. We need to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it no. begins at conception. There's no yeah. other option. Yeah. Wow. Oh, God. Crazy. It, it is just crazy. Well, also, a theory I heard too is that um, Megan is pulling a salt burn, which I really appreciate that. I haven't seen salt burn. <laughs> okay, sorry. Well, no, fine. no. You know what? I have seen a salt burn. I walked into my house oh, while God. Macy was watching it. It's the scene of the guy. At the grave. At the at grave. The grave. Yeah. And, I, and I'm like, and I'm like, what? I didn't mean to uh, <laughs> replicate the sound. Perfect. I was like, what are you watching? And like, <laughs> our daughter's like in in her crib. And I'm like, get it together, mom. <laughs> Megan yeah. is truly like, yeah. if you think you're getting away, yeah. 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 Uh, we'll <laughs> <laughs> Is that the last song? And he's yes, naked it's dancing. So I also good. saw that scene too. It's yeah. That, it's well, iconic. that is a scene not to do. Murder on the Dance Floor is what it's called. Yeah. What a great song, Yeah, it is great. Is that an old song or new? It's from. Like Who? Early, it's from early 2000s. It's Her from, name's Sophie something? Yeah. It was kind of yeah. like a one-hit wonder. Yeah. And yeah. now it's like had this resurgence. 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 Yeah. yeah. <sighs> Fascinating. Well, we're going to have to see what happens More in the, next, in the coming days. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Everyone let us know because like we're going to find out. Yeah. Shit. And our final like question for me with you guys with this is like how involved do you think that the crown was with Diana's death? Involved. Yeah, I mean, I, I think at the very. I ask a question. I'm like, I think, and I'll answer immediately. <laughs> Before you give me your answer, yeah. what I think. <laughs> but I do think, like, whether they <laughs> sent a hit, I don't actually believe. But what I think is that they weren't protecting her, and they knew what would happen. And I also think that they were like, if she went away, it wouldn't be the worst thing. I completely agree. When she was killed or murdered, mm-hmm. um. Was she still with Charles? No, she mm-hmm. had divorced. Yes. Check out a Princess Diana episode. Yes. She was dating another man. Dodi Fayed is that his yes. name? Yes. Mm-hmm. Good I don't job, know how I remember Mike. that. Wow. Yeah. That just, I haven't, like, even, haven't even made that. Uh, we haven't even got to that season of The Crown yet. Oh but I God. think I just... I think I just like know this story decently well enough where, and that name well, is also unique. I so. guess, yes. you know, the whole time I'm like, they can't divorce, but Charles and Diana divorced. That was my question. How did Diana divorce? Mm-hmm. Aren't you not allowed to? Like you're, if Kate, no, like Kate you're, you're not supposed to. You're not supposed to. They were so miserable. Also, Charles was really the one to instigate, like instigate it because he was like, "I'm so in love with Camilla." Camilla, yeah, that's yeah. So and true. so he really took, like, he went to his mom and he was like, "I love this woman." And yeah, I'm, but so that might be different than like. Than the, the then Diana now. wanting a divorce because I think yeah. Diana wanted out for a long yeah. time. She did, but she also held on to it for longer. She was right. more in love with him yeah. than he was with her. Well, we, she was guys, so much we talk, younger. We talk all about it. This episode's really good. Did you guys see that they Barbie released a um, Queen of England Barbie and it's Camilla? But in the caption, I meant to send this to you. I don't know no why way. I didn't. In the caption though, they never said like Camilla, and someone commented and they were like, "I see how you guys are like not even really saying who this is because everyone hates Camilla." Also, who to play the Camilla Barbie <laughs> with love and light. Yeah. No, thank yeah. you. Yeah. No, thank you. Yeah. Wait, so are you saying that like they were trying to throw shade? I think, not sh- is it shade? Or I think that like, Barbie was like, we know people are not going to like this, but it's like something oh, that we have to saying. do. So they're yeah. like, we're going to like say that we yeah. have a Camilla Barbie without saying it. Sp- yeah, that saying is it. so yeah. funny. We actually have one more question too. When you asked Claire like the conversation of for the UK Rammies and like European mm-hmm. like fans, what they think about the crown. I also wonder, like, do you think this has just been, like, an ongoing conversation of, like, why do these fucking people get, like, even in, even when Diana was around in the 80s or whatever, like, has this always been a thing or is Mm. it now losing its luster because, like, we're in this day and age of, like, social media and it's just, like, people aren't as, like, like, celebrities back in the day were much more, like, mysterious Mm -hmm. as they are now. Mm -hmm. Like, do you think that has something to do? I'm sure it does, but. I think it's both. I don't know. Yeah. I think it's lost a little bit of like the romanticism around it because yeah, like back yeah. in the day, like, these people were so like, yeah, you couldn't see them on Instagram. Mm, people no. would wait hours to see them at public appearances. I think that people are still obsessed with them in the UK, yeah. but I think there has lost some like, you know, newer generations are like, wait, why? For yeah. what? I mean, yeah. there's but, always been people from the beginning of time who obviously don't want a monarch, but yeah. Yeah, I think also, again, like, Queen Elizabeth was so beloved, Mm -hmm. and Charles has always been kind of a shit show that I think, especially after she died, Mm. which has been, what, how many, a year or two? Uh, Yeah, right? It was during the pandemic, Two years ago. that people are just, like, especially now. I mean, I would be, like, panicking if I were the royals, because I'm like, what's left for us after? I'd be panicking, too. I mean, a book deal in Montecito. That's that, one that's way true. to go. That would be uh, so nice. Spotify podcast. Yeah, yeah Spotify yeah. original. Which, so that means that William is going to be king, like, Sooner than fairly soon. 
prostate cancer at that age. And he'll be a young king. He will be a young be king. Like, he's not even 50 yet. No. No, no, no. He's like 40-something. Yeah, which yeah. is crazy. Yeah. Um, I mean, Elizabeth was a really young queen. queen. Yeah. She was like in her 20s, I yeah, think. Yeah, that's crazy. God, he's really gone downhill. He used to be so William, cute. oh my God. He used to but look like a Ralph Lauren ad. Ralph Lauren ad. Ugh. Do you guys prefer Charles or Harry? Obviously, the answer is Harry, I would Charles assume. Charles or Harry? Or William or, and sorry. Harry. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, like well, you Charles. like Christopher Walken. <laughs> <laughs> He knows yeah, his yeah, audience. Yeah. Have you seen Prince or uh, Prince uh, Charles's fingers? No. Have I showed you these photos what? before? No. I f- feel like I would have showed you this at like dinner one time. <laughs> he has like sausage fingers. Oh no. Yeah. Let me pull up a photo. That's why Kate's in hiding. She's like, yeah. I can't deal with the fingers like, anymore. He is so creepy. No, you're gonna you're, you're gonna be fucked <laughs> out. He has a missing thumb, Dad. <laughs> And I have heart for people with missing thumbs, Jessica Simpson, or missing fingers. Um, it all goes back to Jessica. I, but also, definitely Harry. I mean, back in the day, William. Not loading. Now, Harry. I think Harry is like. I think he's a hot. Man. I think Harry's really sexy. I think he's really sexy, and he's tall too. He, uh, I, well, I think that Harry and Megan stuff has been a bit <gasps> cringe. Oh my god, let me see Sweetheart. these sausage hands. I'm like, you I seem to have some like salt that, retention. That's like, not. Okay, that's Charles. Prince retention. Charles. So. <laughs> This is Prince Charles, not Prince William's fingers. Oh, they are like truly sausages. Yeah. If they could have edited a photo, they could have been that one, I you know? They're retouching money on. Yeah. Hell, go, go see a doctor. Yeah, yeah. This is it's crazy. horrifying. It's crazy. Oh my god, his wedding his... ring looks like it's about to pop. Yeah. Off. His yeah. hands are so small. Yeah. Well, yeah. That's Which all we, we need know. to know. Say. Yeah. You know, exactly. But yeah, <laughs> no, it's it's uh micro penis. I'm saying it. Yeah. <laughs> he uh, he's got strange fingers. For oh sure. my god, he's a strange man. He, even when he was younger, he was not attractive either. The fact that no. well, Diana's so gorgeous. Yeah, they mo- they look like him. They look like her. More. Well, there's a whole conspiracy theory that Harry is not actually Charles' son. She had an affair with her horse trainer, who was a redhead, Seriously. and he does look quite a they, lot like him. There are similarities, but... and honestly, that's one conspiracy theory I could get behind. Me too. That's interesting. He looks nothing like Charles. This like, is. Can the I one. see the yeah. horse trainer? <laughs> That's him? Look at yeah. him. But as like a younger man? Yeah. As a younger man. Yeah, good looking guy. And yeah. also could be Harry's dad. Look, look yeah. at the eyes. Yeah. What's his name? Uh, what was um, his name? What is wow, his name? wait. Side by side, side that by side. really does. And he does, to be fair, Harry does also look like Charles a little bit. I mean, they just look so British, don't I they? Know. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know what his, her former lover, but yeah, I don't I don't know. Interesting. Oh, James Hewitt. That's right. James. Little, little Jamesy. That's very interesting, guys. Wow. Well, um, I mean, I think more will be revealed. Who knows what will be revealed when the episode comes out on Monday? Yeah, exactly. yeah. It was this Monday, so exactly. we could have a whole. I mean, we'll keep chatting. The, the pace of this like story yeah. is so fast that like we could have several new details by Monday, and and we can talk about yeah. more on Patreon too. That's right. We'll be on the case. Yeah. We'll be on. I, I need we'll to use it. TikTok for like crime. Uh, oh, one yeah. debunking or whatever. Yeah, it's, it's everywhere. Yeah, I mean, just go in that TikTok hole. Which might be banned soon. <laughs> yes. Ugh. Did you guys hear about that? Yeah, we're like not happy about it because that's how yeah. we've gotten like most of our followers. No, dude, yeah, I know. no kidding. I know. I, know. I don't think it's going to be banned. And if they, it is... they almost banned some. They almost banned it. Remember, like yes. what last year? Or yes. something? Yeah, it's like crying yeah. wolf at this point. I'm like, you're going to do it. Yeah. <laughs> oh really? Oh really? <laughs> Go ahead, do it. Fuck, <laughs> yeah. you did it. <laughs> I'm like, wait, no, we no, need I can't this. pay rent. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. Literally. Yikes. Um, well, guys, Mike, this Mike, has been so fun. so fun. Yeah, I'm um, sorry I didn't come as prepared on the Kate Middleton kidding? subject, but we got to all do it together. Oh, so. I mean, that, that was, was so fun. That was exhilarating. <laughs> I feel like I like blacked out. Same, same. I had the best time. Uh, yeah. We love having you on. Thank you, guys. Oh, let's, do, let's do it again. Let's do Anytime it. Anytime you want to yeah. come yeah. back. Is there anything it. you want to promote right now? Oh, my gosh. Um, I have... I've told you, Claire, this, but I don't know if I've mentioned a test, but I am uh, – actually, you know what? I don't even think I can say it. Oh. I'll just say a, I have new music coming out this year. Oh. Yeah. Oh, um, yes. So, I, yeah, it's funny. I was – I like I, it's all kind of in the works, but I probably definitely can't – I'm sure my manager will be like – Okay, but we love teasing the people. We love yes. to tease. Yeah. I would just say, Rammies, if you also listen to my music, which just you should. expect – Which you should. Um, they, they do. If you love Kate Middleton, you're going to love my music. <laughs> If you love Walt Disney <laughs> and Harold Holt, everyone's like, "What is you're that? gonna love?" You're gonna love yeah, Quinn this 92. New, this new album, yeah. Yep. Um, no, I, I have I have a bunch of new music coming out, and we just actually shot a bunch of like promo for it two days ago. Oh, fun! 
Um, it's really, yeah, I'm really excited. It's it's the marketing of it that I'm really pumped for. Your it's marketing like, is always like top I know, notch. You. Your so aesthetic good. is so Thank good. You. I mean, Thank I you. loved all the people champing. Your tour was so fun Thank for you. that. I You've that. literally been like on our Pinterest board before for really? just like images. And, oh, no way. Just like look at like how like cool it I is. I feel like creative. our Matchbox vibes were very like Quinn 92 really? coded. Yep. I use Pinterest for so much shit. Pinterest oh. is the best. Yeah. Yeah. We, I, it's yeah, my happy get, place. Uh, every like tattoo I want, I go to Pinterest. Oh, same. It's so good. It's amazing. It is. Um, so but yeah. new music, new music, new music, um, possibly a tour. Um, yeah, uh, I can't, I can't say anymore. Okay. Okay. <laughs> well, well, yeah, yeah. just, just follow where, where do the kids follow you? Yeah. Uh, guys follow me on uh, social media, Quinn, Q U I N N. And then 92 is the Roman numeral. So it's X C I I. Um, and yeah, guys. And they'll be in me. our show notes too. Yes, yes. 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 Um, and then you'll probably see me again here soon. Or That's right. Listen Can't to my wait. voice soon. That's right. Yeah. Okay, guys. Well, we love you and follow us on social media at Right Answers Mostly on all the platforms. Follow us on YouTube. Let's get those streams. Join our Patreon, yes. which will soon be going to another. Are you guys doing another live uh, show? show? Eventually. We want to go to Texas. We want to yeah. go to New York. That'd be cool. I, I don't know if you've heard this before, but touring is expensive. It is. I have <laughs> yeah. heard that before. I didn't really realize. Yeah. the full budget it involved. Is. Yeah. yeah, that thing. But it's it is budget. like, it's it's funny with podcasting, It what are you bringing? It's just... Ourselves, but yeah, um, we have you, to fly there and we have course, to yeah. put ourselves up. Yeah. yeah. So Those if there's the any two. like hotel brands... And all the places we like to go. Right, yeah. yeah. If there's any hotel uh, brands listening. We'll, we'll go on a Boeing plane and yeah. so... <laughs> <laughs> we'll take a discount. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, hopefully coming to a town near you with a awesome. live show. Also yes. trivia in the in West Side area or um, Yeah, we're always been any trivia. We're always at I miss no, March 22nd at No Way House. We're doing trivia. Yeah. Where's um, the White House? Where is it? It's in Venice. It's yeah. oh, it's oh, great. Oh, it's on Washington. Uh, right? No, it's on like Pacific. Pacific. I think so. Okay, never mind. I don't think I've been. Find us there. We're always there. We're doing women's history trivia. So come, bring your friends. Yes. Yeah, so oh, be fine. it's near the Venice sign. It's, yes. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. It's like the work. It's like the we, nice we work yes, area. Yes. Yeah, it's gorgeous. We love it. It is gorgeous. Yeah. Macy yeah. nice. should come for a drink. Yeah. yeah we would love to. It, the bar is bring so Florence. We'll bring the child. Yeah. yeah. Please. Yeah. <laughs> oh, guys, guys. Well, thank you so much. We'll see you next week. Bye, Rami. Bye.